Okay, so now I'm going to show you why I test the Loombox in a third party lab because this handheld device is not accurate. Okay, it's going to be interfered. Look, when I go near it, look what happens. It starts, the meter starts picking up my phone and it jumps up. You see how it was in the green range? And then I go near it with my phone, it jumps up. Now, if you didn't understand how to test, you're going to say, oh my goodness, Loombox is high EMF and start panicking. But no, it's the background radiation from, from all the other things. Like, look, I move away, move away, and it's gone down. By the way, this is not some cheap EMF meter either. This was recommended to me by a guy who specializes in testing homes for EMF. He said this is one of the most accurate on the market. And you can see it has magnetic, electrical, and radio frequency. This is what you're looking for. But unfortunately, it's just very easy to manipulate a handheld meter. And it's picking up all kinds of background electrical look it's high here probably because i'm holding my phone and i'm very close to it it's just not accurate and that's why i spent all that money third party testing Loombox because in a third party test they're removing all the confounding all the background and you're just getting the reading from Loombox, whereas this is not